Hi guys, welcome back to Engineer Prof PH. In this video, we are going to talk about another application of algebra, which is the work problem. So let's go first guys sa concept. So yung key natin to understanding uh, this topic is to go into the concept first before you go to the formulas or yung mga form of equation pag nag-solve tayo ng work problem. Kasi most of the book guys, uh, especially reviewers, ang nakalagay doon na solution is uh, formula na siya. So hindi pa masyado in-explain kung ano ba talaga yung concept behind this work problem. So, there are two things that we need to understand when solving a work problem. So, the first thing that we should familiarize is that yung fraction, the fraction of the job done by a single person, uh, by a pump, or anything that does job on the problem. So, the fraction of the job done by a single person is just equal to the rate of doing a job times the time for that person to perform the job. Okay. For example, a single person can do a certain job. So, ito yung fraction of the job done by this person. Okay, for example, a single person can do one job. Okay, one uh, job per, okay, four hours. Ibig sabihin, kaya niyang kompletuhin yung isang trabaho in a span of four hours. Now, let's say, this is your rate. Ito yung rate niya of doing a job. Then, let's say, uh, that person uh, work for 3 hours. Okay? Now, the fraction of the job done by that person is just equal to 3 fourths of the job. So, ito yung fraction of the job done by that person. Now, let's go to the second concept. Okay, in order for a person or a group of people to complete a certain job, dapat yung sum of the fraction of those job should be equal to 1. Okay, 1 complete job. So, ito yung concept guys na kailangan natin maintindihan when working or when solving problems in algebra. Uh, involving work problem. So, ito yung guys yung tekniko pag nag analyze tayo ng problems kasi it's very easy for us to answer problems especially in algebra if we know the concepts rather than we just know the formula or yung form of equation na ginagamit natin. Now, in order for us to actually further understand this, let's solve a sample problem. Ayan. Okay, in this first problem, Peter can do a certain job in 4 hours and John can do the same job in 3 hours. How long will they finish the job together? Okay. So, let x muna natin guys. Let x. Okay. Let x. So, let x be the, okay, the time, the time it takes, okay, the time it takes for Peter and John to complete to complete the job okay so i-add natin yung fraction of the job done by Peter and fraction of the job done by John in order to complete one job okay so that is the fraction of the job done by Peter plus the fraction of the job done by John should be equal to one job okay now what is the fraction of the job done by Peter Okay, so that is the rate of Peter doing a certain job times the time they finish the job together. So that is x, okay, x. Plus, the rate of John times the time uh, they finish the job together, x is equal to 1, okay? Now, ano ba yung uh, rate ni Peter? So that is uh, one job per four hours. Okay, it's stated in the problem. So that is one job per four hours times x plus kay naman, that is three hours. So that is one over three. So one third. So one job per three hours times x is equal to one. Okay, we solve for x using 
uh, algebra. Okay, so x is equal to, so ito yung form sa mga book guys, 1 fourth plus 1 third, so equals 1 over x. So yan yung form ng equation na nakikita natin sa mga reviewers. But yung concept niya will always start from the sum of the job done by each person is equal to 1 to complete 1 job. Okay, sob lang natin si x. Okay, wag na tayong dadaan dito. So, i-divide na lang natin both sides. Uh, I mean, i-add na lang muna natin to. So, 1 fourth plus 1 third. So, that is 1 fourth plus 1 third times x. Okay? So, equals 1. So, 1 fourth plus 1 third. So, the LCD is 12. Okay, therefore, multiply natin si 1 fourth ng 3 over 3. So, this becomes 3 12. Plus, ito, si 1 third multiply natin sa 4 over 4. Okay, so 4, 12. So, times x equals 1. So, this is 7, 12 x equals 1. Okay, divide natin by 7, 12 both sides. So, x equals 1 divided by 7 over 12. Or, this is just equal to x equals 12 over 7. Okay, kunin natin guys yung number of hours and number of minutes. So, this is 12 over 7 hours. Okay, so using your calculator, so 12 divided by 7, that gives us 1.71. Okay, okay, so that is x equals 1.71 hours. Okay, so this means that uh, this is just equal to uh, 1 hour and 0.71 hour. Okay, so yung 0.71 hour, i-convert natin siya guys to, so this is 0.71 hour, i-convert natin siya guys to minutes. Okay, 0.71 hour times, okay, so this is 60 minutes per 1 hour. So, 0.71 hour is just equal to So, that is 42.6 minutes. Okay. So, therefore, they can finish the job when they uh, work together for 1 hour and we have here 42. Okay, round up na natin guys. 43 minutes. Okay, so this is the final answer for this problem. Okay, so this is the second problem. A tank can be filled in 9 hours by the first pipe, 12 hours by the second pipe, and can be drained when full by a third pipe in 15 hours. How long it will take to fill an empty tank with all the pipes in operation? Okay, so meron tayo ditong, uh, say, gawa tayo ng figure to further understand this uh, concept or this problem, I mean. So merong dalawang pipe that fills, okay, meron dalawang pipe that fills the tank, pero meron tayong drain pipe, okay, may nagde-drain sa kanya. So, there are, so, first pipe and second pipe are doing the job together, but the third pipe is removing the job, okay, removing, it removes some of that job because this is an outlet pipe. So, now we can say that uh, this is the first pipe, second pipe, and the third pipe, ayan. Now, uh, i-add lang natin lahat ng fraction of the job done by this uh, pipes. Okay, for the first pipe, okay, the fraction of the job done by the first pipe plus the fraction of the job done by the second pipe. Okay, minus natin yung fraction of the job done by the third pipe since this is a drain pipe. So, it removes work from the system. Okay, so this is F sub 3, so negative, so equals to one a uh, complete job how long will it take to fill an empty tank with all the pipes open so remember that pipe 3 is an outlet that's why it's a negative work in this equation okay we first let x okay let x be the time the time it takes to fill an empty tank if all three pipes are open Okay, so, ito yung hinahanap natin in this problem. 
Okay, what is the fraction of the job done by the first pipe? So, it will be the rate of that first pipe times the time. Okay, times the time consumed by that pipe which is x. Okay, so x plus the rate second pipe R2 times x. Then, minus natin yung rate ni 3 since it is a discharge pipe. So, rate of that third pipe times the time uh, consumed by the third pipe which is x. Common siya sa lahat kasi they are working together. Then, this is equal to 1. Okay, so what is the rate of the first pipe? So, that is 1 job per 9 hours. Okay, so 1 over 9. Okay, so this is times x plus yung rate ng second pipe that is 12 hours. So, that is 1 over 12. 1 job per 12 hours times x. Okay, minus yung fraction ng third pipe which is the rate times the time x. Okay, so yung rate ng third pipe is 1 over 15. Okay, times x is equal to 1. Okay, we solve for x using algebra. So, factor out natin si x para ma-simplify natin siya. So, 1 over 9 plus 1 over 12 minus 1 over 15. Okay, this is multiplied to x. So, this is equals to 1. Now, we divide both sides by this expression here okay so use your calculator to solve this or you can also solve this and transform this into a single fraction then divide both sides by that certain fraction but in this case directly input na lang natin siya guys in our calculator so 1 over so 1 ninth plus 1 12 minus 1 15 okay so this is the time it takes for those three pipes to fill that empty tank. Okay, so solve natin using our scientific calculator. So 1 divided by 1 ninth plus 1 over 12 minus 1 fifteenth. Okay, so that gives us 7 point or okay, 7.826 hours. Okay, let's convert this into an expression where in merong minutes. Etong decimal uh, expression, i-convert natin siya guys to minute. So, 0 0.826 hour times, conversion natin 60 minutes per 1 hour. Okay, so this gives us, okay, times 60. So, that is, okay, 49 point, okay, that is uh, 6 minutes. Okay, therefore, the time it takes for those three pipes to fill the empty tank is 7 hours. Okay, 7 hours. And, okay, i-round off na natin siya guys, 50 minutes. Okay, so this is the final answer for this particular problem. Okay guys, so that's how you solve this type of problem. Okay, proceed tayo guys sa ating third sample problem. Okay, here we go guys sa ating last problem. So, this is the last problem for this video. Okay, Glenn can paint a house in 9 hours while Stuart can paint the same house in 16 hours. They work together for 4 hours. After 4 hours, Stuart left and Glenn finished the job alone. How many more hours did it take Glenn to finish the job? So, basically guys, this problem, meron tayong dalawang tao dito. Nag-work sila together, but after a certain hour, umalis yung isa, then kinuntin yung isa, ilan daw yung nakonsume nung natirang tao para matapos yung trabaho. Okay, so this is uh, the interpretation of the problem. Now, same concept tayo guys. Okay, add natin lahat ng fraction of the job dapat equal sa 1. Okay, so yung summation of the fraction of the job done by each person is equal to 1. Okay, yung kay Glenn muna and kay Stuart when they are working together. Okay, for 4 hours. Okay, take note of that 4 hours. So, kay Glenn, 9 hours. So, yung rate niya is 1 ninth. Nag-work siya ng 4 hours. They work together for 4 hours. Okay, times 4. Then, i-add natin yung work ni Stuart which is, okay, 1 over 16. Yan yung rate niya. Times yung time na 
Trinabaho ni Stuart and Glenn together which is 4 hours. So this is the portion or yung fraction of the job when they are working together. Okay now, umalis daw si Stuart. Okay, therefore, yung i-add natin dito is yung kay Glenn na lang. Okay, let x be the number of hours Glenn, okay, number of hours that Glenn took to finish the job. Okay. Okay, so i-add natin guys yung fraction of the job na ginawa ni Glenn nung umalis na si Stuart. So that is Okay, para kay Glenn, that is 1 over 9, yan yung rate niya, times yung number of hours na kinonsume niya to finish the job, which is x. And to complete the certain job, that should be equal to 1. Okay, solve natin si x. Okay, so this is 4 ninth, okay, plus 4 over 16. Okay, so this is plus x over 9 equals 1. Okay, pag-combine natin yung mga constant. Okay, x over 9 equals 1 minus, okay, transpose natin yung dalawa na constant dito sa right side. So, minus 4 ninth minus 4 over 16. Okay, si 4 over 16, ilowest term natin siya as, okay, that is just 1 fourth. Okay, lowest term of 4 over 16. So, 1 fourth. So, x over 9 equals... Okay, multiply na natin guys sa 9 both sides. Okay, x equals, okay, 1 minus 4 ninth minus 1 over 4, 1 fourth quantity times 9. Okay, to cancel this 9 here sa left side. So, x equals, okay, 9, distribute natin si 9 minus, okay, 4 minus 9 over 4. Okay, therefore, x is equal to, so 9 minus 4, 5, so 5 minus 9 fourth. Okay, so this gives us x is equal to, so kuhin natin yung LCD niya, which is 4. Okay, multiply tayo ng 4 over 4 sa so 5, so this becomes 20 over 4, so minus 9 over 4. Okay, this gives us, okay, 11 over 4. So x is equal to, Okay, decimal lang natin si 11 over 4. Okay, that gives us 2.75 hours. Okay, this means that nung umalis yung isa which is uh, Stuart, Glenn consumed another 2.75 hours to finish the job. Okay, so that's how you analyze guys a work problem. Okay, the concept is so, let's go back to the concept to review. Okay, review lang natin. Ano ba yung mga concept natin? Okay, the fraction of the job. Okay, equal siya sa rate. Okay, rate of doing a certain job. Ano ba yung rate niya? For example, one job per four hours. Ibig sabihin, kaya niyang tapusin yung isang trabaho for four hours. Now, let's say, nagtrabaho siya ng three hours lang. Therefore, yung fraction of the job niya is three-fourth of that certain job. Now, in order for us to complete a certain job, dapat yung sum nung mga fraction na yon should be equal to 1. Okay, so that's the concept of work problem. Remember this concept in order for you to solve easily uh, those problems in the board examination. Okay, I hope you have learned from this video guys. Uh, see you on my next video. I will be discussing more about these topics, algebra in your preparation para makatulong na rin sa inyo, especially sa mga nag-review for the board examination. See you guys, stay safe, and God bless you all. And if you are new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and yung notif bell. You can also share this with your classmates uh, in order for them to uh, actually learn from this. Thank you for subscribing on this channel if you are an old subscriber. Thank you for your support on this channel. God bless you guys. See you on my next video.